I want you to be aware of a few forms of radioactivity. Here's a list of six common ones, but the first three are important for our class. And these first three alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays are also natural forms of radioactivity. That means the other three in the list are synthetically produced. Now I'd like to go through each of the three forms of natural radiation in a bit more detail. First, we'll start off with the alpha particle, or alpha emission. An alpha particle is emitted from the nucleus. That's why we see here in this nuclear equation, the alpha particle, which can be represented as a helium nucleus, is on the right side of the arrow. So whatever's on the right side of the arrow is something that is coming out of the nucleus or is a product. And what's on the left side is what we begin with. So uranium-238 transforms itself into thorium-234. And when it does that, it, I'll say, spits out a helium nucleus. The next example, we see polonium-210 becomes lead-206 when the polonium emits or spits out a alpha particle. Also, it um, emits a gamma ray. With beta emission, a radioactive nucleus emits an electron. So, carbon-14 becomes nitrogen-14 and in the process emits a beta particle. Unlike the other two forms of natural radiation, gamma radiation is a wave, it's not a particle, so it has no mass. It's neither an electron, a neutron, a proton, none of those particles. It's just a, a wave of energy. And it's denoted by this funny looking symbol down here. This is actually the Greek letter for gamma. With gamma emission, the equation is pretty simple. Boron 11 still is boron 11. But this M simply denotes that boron-11 is in some high energy state. When boron-11 goes into a low energy state, it has to emit its energy as a f in the form of a gamma ray, or gamma emission. 